All right, everybody, exciting day we have in my hands right here, the brand new, newly released, exciting day, the Swing Caddy SC300i, right there. Look at that beauty in black. It's an updated version of the SC300, which is here. So when they went from silver to black, Thus, I'm, I'm wearing all black in, I don't know, just because this is in black. So why not? Here we go. So as you may or may not know, the SC300 was my, let's say, go-to uh, launch monitor, most affordable launch monitor, the most accurate, most affordable launch monitor. Take it with you, put it anywhere you want. It was super, super reliable. They've improved on that with the uh, SC300i. So we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna put it up against TrackMan and see how accurate it is indoors here in my studio because uh, the conditions here are gonna be most difficult for an indoor launch monitor. I don't have much distance between where I'm hitting and the screen so it's under 10 feet and we're gonna see how accurate this bad boy can be indoors under those conditions if it's accurate here it'll be way more accurate outdoors because it has just longer to track the shot before it does its calculations so when you get your new sc300i link in the video description below for that if you're interested you're gonna to want to go and uh the best thing to do, what I found, is delete your current My Swing Caddy app. Delete it off if you had the old one. Then reinstall it just so you don't have any issues, okay? That, that's just what I had to do to make sure everything was synced up, working properly. So you have the just your normal, normal practice mode. You can go in and uh, select your club here and then just go and hit your shots. You're good to go. What's cool is you have this uh, target mode, a little more uh, intense practice mode. We'll get into that. Something they've added here, which we're gonna test out, is the video mode. You could just go into the video mode and you can video your swing and then it will give you some numbers right there as you're hitting. So we'll test that out as well. Uh, let's first just dive in. We'll start with an eight iron here, just practice mode. 8-iron, and we'll compare it to launch uh, TrackMan and see if it's close, not close. You get the idea. First horrible shot, no warm-up, out of the gate. TrackMan, this is carry distance we're looking at, 133 for Swing Caddy. That was a bad shot, and 127 for TrackMan. Pretty close. That was a good shot. Okay, so those numbers are pretty spot on. We got 152 from Swing Caddy, 151 carry on TrackMan. We've got, let's see, swing speed is 81 TrackMan, 81 Swing Caddy. Right on the money. Spin rate. Now, in the app on Swing Caddy, you get spin rate. This says 6790. TrackMan says 6500. So, pretty close. Ball speed is spot on. Uh, I'm loving that. Let's hit another eight iron. See, make sure we're good. Okay, Swing Caddy says 142. Carry Trackman says 139. It's within, within a couple yards. Spin rate is 61.50 on Swing Caddy and 66.10 there. It's pretty accurate. Ball speed is perfect on both of them, they match up perfectly. Smash factor is very close as well. So with the eight irons, we're looking really, really good. I'm actually quite surprised because typically the, the swing caddies indoor didn't work out great. Like outdoor in the net, it was fine, but when I brought it indoors, it wasn't as accurate as I would hope. They've definitely done some improvements to make it a lot more indoor friendly. So it's good with an eight iron. Now, how about driver? Okay, so this is driver swing. We've got 252 swing caddy 
and we've got 244 carry on TrackMan. We have a smash factor of 149. Both of them are the same. Spin rates are totally different here. So I'm getting a 2800 spin rate. Swing Caddy, a 1630 swing, uh, spin rate TrackMan. And the height would be, it's a little, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be higher on Swing Caddy. So spin rate's off, but the carry distance is very accurate and the swing speed's right on the money. I'm not really worried about spin rate being accurate on my little portable device. So for the, um, the video portion, we have um, a, an assistant. We're kind of dressed the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. She's gonna help us. She's gonna hold the camera to record my swing, okay? So we get it in record mode and then you set it up and you record your swing and here's what happens. We got an eight iron here. Okay, so then it has your swing, it keeps it stored in here and you can go and all your data that is associated with that swing is on the device. So then you can, you play your swing you can say, oh, okay, that was the swing. I hit 140 something yards. You can look at your swing and you could draw some lines on your swing, which is really cool. So you can kind of look at your swing, see what happened, what you were doing. I love being able to draw these lines. So that's something that's new that's added here for the SC300i. Really like that feature. Uh, that's worth an upgrade right there. Let's get into the uh, target practice mode. Let's go 75 yards and see how accurate we can get there. And we'll select, um, select our club. Let's go sand wedge, 56 degree, 75 yards. Rock and roll. One of the challenges about practicing indoors is these inside 100 yard shots. If you can get that, then you can really take what you're doing to the golf course and have great success. 77 yards. One thing it does not do, it does not calculate side to side of the ball flight. So it just goes distance. It doesn't do any curvature to the left or to the right. None of them do unless you're getting into track man and things like that. So for the home affordable version, this is incredibly accurate. Always been a big fan. Now with the new features of the video, the, this target practice mode is new and improved. So that's really nice. I love that. And I just love the layout, the look, how simple this is to use. And not once during this video did I ever get a non-reading shot from the SC300i. All shots were recorded. I think the spin rate is off and it was off in the previous version. It's better, but again, it's not up there with your super multi-thousand dollar you know, launch monitors. So that's always gonna be a challenge. I do like that they have it. I wouldn't rely on the spin rate of the SC300i, but the other features are pretty spot on. So when it comes to portable, affordable, launch monitors that you can easily read the screen in the bright sunlight or ignores. I highly recommend you check out the Swing Caddy SE300i, link in the video description below. Fantastic unit, always been great. There you go, love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next video.